Good morning everybody! I am finally heading out to beautiful Thailand and right now I'm at the KL International Airport by the way which is really nice I didn't expect this airport to be so beautiful like if you guys see how beautiful this airport is Wow! Unbelievable but heading out to um, beautiful Thailand um, I'm actually flying out just for the Pad Thai and I'm super excited to be here um, I'm actually accompanied with a friend of mine and uh, as you can see he wasn't dressed properly for the occasion oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited now I got to find my airline that's gonna be the hard part but welcome to beautiful um, KL Airport while I look for my airline and I will see you guys soon inshallah okay ladies and gentlemen after I made it through all that from custom immigration everything uh, I am getting to my plane um, but we are officially going to Thailand. This is my first time ever reaching Thailand. This is going to be a great time. And I feel like this is going to be a great vlog. And I hope you guys are ready for Thailand. Welcome to Wally's Journey, everybody. First impressions of Thailand. As soon as I get there, I am excited. Over and out. So we finally made it here and the greatest thing is is my oh, buddy got us a driver which is amazing and as you see his name is on there which is awesome uh, we're actually about to have an interesting time so this is both of our first time in Thailand so this is gonna be great the first thing we need to do is we see how Thailand is and we gotta go to McDonald's so I'm super excited so I'm really excited see your name was on there bro hey. there you go your name was on there so we're gonna get a driver right now as you can see, my man is uh, pieced up today. Three chains, not two chains, <laughs> but we're about to have a good time. So we just got a SIM card, got everything finished. So let's check out and see what Thailand has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, I am starving. I gotta eat some food, but welcome to Thailand, everybody, Bangkok. So we finally made it to our place. Uh, just got here. Um, basically, we have an Airbnb um, right now, trying to get with our driver, Andy, and we finally made it to the area we needed to be at. It's, uh, I'm very excited to be here. And uh, let's see what, uh, what this condo looks like. Um, this is really a two bedroom condo. You can get Airbnb for a good price for a whole week. Um, we'll be here, so super excited about that. And uh, this is our first time here, so awesome. Awesome. Oh, my watch is about to fall. There we go. Here we go, as you see the help we're getting. But we're here, finally. Thank you. Well, oh, yes, sir. Oh. Yep. And then we also got... Oh, yeah. that your backpack your backpack? My backpack's in with me. Here you go, Andy. Thank you oh, so much, brother. Thank you so much. No, thank you, thank you. Have a good day. Awesome, awesome driver. Thank you. You got us there safe. Once I put my watch on, because my watch almost fell, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything in the uh, car. Give me one second, y'all. My watch almost fell can't get my watch in there you go make sure I didn't forget anything all right we're good I guess thank you all right and we're here hello sir thank you and we're actually going in right now to the room super excited to be here welcome Bangkok so let's get upstairs and we'll show you what the condo looks like um, first time in Bangkok welcome beautiful area nice really nice there we go ladies and gentlemen and here we are taking off the uh, shoes as usual, got to be respectful. Uh, yeah, very respectful. Take off the shoes. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We take our shoes, put them in. Thank you, sir. Put it off. Oh, whoa, almost slipped. But here we go. Two bedroom, beautiful. You have one bedroom here, and then you have a bathroom. And you have the master bedroom with a master bathroom. Wow. With a bidet. And look at the view, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome right here. This is great. Look at the views, y'all. So you get a balcony. Um, obviously, a little, very tiny balcony. 
but you can look all over Bangkok right now, which is amazing. I bet you at night it looks super beautiful. Look at the pool over there, that's really nice. But this is what you guys get, like welcome to Bangkok. You get full on AC, little tiny uh, kitchen as well. As you can see, you get a washer and dryer. Look at that, that's so cool. Nice little living room. We got internet, Wi-Fi. We have literally a TV and just the views of Bangkok. And uh, I mean, this is, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you right now, it's, it's a really good rate. Can't tell you how much, but you know, this is what we get. And uh, my buddy is actually right here enjoying the views. How do you like? It's cool. Okay, so we are officially in Bangkok, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the master bathroom though. He gets obviously, oh wow. He actually has a bath, yo. This man's gonna take the most comfortable shower ever. He gets a little, he can lay down in the bathtub and also shower yeah, if he wants. Yeah, bro, I'm like six foot three. It's I'm okay. right up in that bathtub. Well, <laughs> I, it looks like I could fit in it, that's oh, for sure. Man. This is great. And it's then, nice though, I can't complain. It's very beautiful. As for me, this is mine. And as you guys can see, once I turn on the light, um, wow, cups, antibacterial soap. I got a stand-up shower. We really nice, really, really nice. Wow. Come here, come here, look at the toilet. Let me see. With the bidet? No, no. You get the You get the booty washer? Bro, look at that one. That's a straight up. Yeah. It even warms the seats too. It warms it. And it dries your butt cheeks. I like, might not leave. I might that is crazy. This time. is great. But look at the views. And the weather is amazing, y'all. I gotta admit, I'm very excited. But guess what? We are starving and we have to eat food. Tonic, we're gonna eat food. So that's what we need is some food. So whatever I see down there, I'm very excited to finally get some food in my system. Thailand, thank you so much for having us. I am so excited to be here and ready to spend some money on some food and the adventures of Thailand. Welcome. Taj part is on one street, but um, actually it's been just like massage after massage, but let me tell you, these don't look like regular massages. They look pretty painful. I don't think I can do this. Like I can't stretch like that, but as we walk forward, there should be some food. I'm getting hungry and uh, I gotta see what we can eat as we walk down the streets of Bangkok. I'm actually really, really starving right now and I don't know what to eat right now, but I can't wait. <laughs> this guy just blew a cigar in my face. So there we go. So as we walk, I'm trying to find something where there's some local street food. As you can see, there's a lot of street food out here, but we'll see what we eat as we walk definitely not a restaurant today we got to get we got to get some pad thai or something we got to eat like a king today because the local street food is the way to eat over here in, in bangkok craziest thing is as we're hungry i know that a lot of people say like they tell me that the best the best food to eat the best mcdonald's in all of the world is thailand mcdonald's and as we're walking the streets no matter what my route is always land and hit up a mcdonald's first because if I don't hit up a McDonald's, I'm really missing out because I watched a couple YouTubers and they all said McDonald's number one in, uh, in um, Thailand. So we gotta see if it's really true, but this is the great thing. Look at the beautiful mall. So I'm next to the actual mall and I mean, it has all the nice fancy stores, but here's, here's the thing. They celebrate Christmas hard. They didn't take their Christmas tree down, but look at, I mean, look at it. So McDonald's will be straight ahead. This will be the first time we try McDonald's. So I thought McDonald's was on every corner, but we ended up at a mall. And the cool thing about the mall is, it's actually really nice. It's like outdoors, as you can see, Louis Vuitton. This is the Emporia Mall. So first impression so far, this side is actually super beautiful of like, uh, when you go to, um, when you go to Thailand, which is great. And as you can see, you got Prada. And what we're looking for, is McDonald's out of all places we got to go to McDonald's so it's the first impression of McDonald's and it is it, it's kind of hard to kind of communicate because I don't have my uh, I have to get my uh, tie up when it comes down to the language barrier but so far really nice mall we're going to the helix quarters let me this guy saluting us and awesome good to see every hello 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 where's where's McDonald's at no, no, next to me. Next, oh, next, okay, perfect, awesome. So we finally found the McDonald's hunt is over. It's time to order some McDonald's for the very first time in Thailand. I'm super excited to finally get some McDonald's in my system because I haven't had it for a while and we're in Thailand, we only get to try it once.
Okay, in all honesty, this mall is huge. Um, we're going to the food hall, we got lost. The mall is attached to three different buildings, so. It's like six different malls It's in one six place. different malls in one place. So right now we're going to the quarter food hall, and we're gonna go downstairs one more level, and we finally find McDonald's. And maybe some other treats, but I'm super excited. Um, how do we get downstairs? Next one. But look how beautiful it is. You got Sephora, and then as you move forward, look at this, you're at, you're, it's attached to three different and uh three different malls and look how huge it is it's insane this is a crazy mall and then you got freshly baked and you got sandwiches you got oh my god look at that that's that looks good we might have to get some sweets oh is that Krispy Kreme hey yo they're almost sold out yo I haven't seen a Krispy Kreme in so long oh I bet you it's so good and they're sold out they don't even have anybody working oh my god so we finally found the food court there's a million Oh my god, there's so many options. So they have a cool little water little scene right here. You get a nice little elevator. But look at look at the factory. This is crazy. You got Burger King. And as we walk through, first impression so far, Thailand and the mall, super sick. I love it. And uh, they got three donuts left. She's working for the three donuts. As we move forward, McDonald's should be coming through. I, we got Subway. Oh, you know I got to hit up a Subway. I know Thai Subway probably is better. Who knows, but we'll check it out. Let's find this McDonald's somewhere. McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Come on, how many times did I say McDonald's? Oh, look at that. You got, I think that's duck. And as you keep on moving. All right, we finally found it. That was the most difficult McDonald's to find. And here's the crazy part. It's actually not that busy, which I'm super excited about. So here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally found the first uh, Ronald McDonald chilling here. What up, man? All right, first impression on some food. Let's get it. Look at how this looks. Let's see what they got. So to eat in, we're gonna try different varieties, okay? And here's the crazy part. They all have different products. So we got, oh, they got crisper fries. These are different. So we're definitely gonna get that because I've never seen that in my life. And they got new products. So these crispier fries, they got double quarter pounder with cheese, which is nothing. We're gonna go for the chicken. Oh, they got rice and porridge. All right. Chicken nuggets, hands down, number one we gotta try. They got cheese sticks. You already know, we're about to go chicken nuggets. We're gonna get a six piece, which is 100 baht. We're gonna get a, a meal, and we're gonna make it with a, hopefully they have availability of Coke Zero. So, oh, so they got barbecue, hot barbecue sauce, let's try that. Coke Zero, okay, add to order. We're also getting cheese sticks I don't care I gotta try a cheese stick here one quantity if I get cheese sticks I don't know what MK Patango is I've never heard of it but um, do they come with uh, I want to change my fries I don't know if I can change my fries they don't have apple pies no they have different types they of pies have corn pies bro. yes that's 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 crazy we're gonna personalize this and we're gonna get different fries so we gotta change the fries okay and uh, how do you change them? Okay, I guess you can't get it. So we'll apply changes. We gotta get salt on the fries. Okay. What kind of what kind of uh, fries did you get? I got regular fries, and I also got the the uh, the big the new yeah, fries. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna try one of his fries at least, and then we go back. We need to try more stuff. So there's cheddar cheese sauce. They have a McSaver. What is the McSaver? They actually have a pork bu uh, burger. They have a pepper chicken burger. I'm gonna try a pepper chicken burger, why not? They have pineapple pie, corn pie. Okay, add to order. Okay, so we got chicken nuggets, we got fries, and now we got, oh wait, wait, why do I gotta start? No, 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 no. Uh, add to order, okay, we got that. All right, so next thing, new products. So we got the fries, we got the burger, they got beef, fish, chicken, pork, dessert. All right, what do you got for dessert? They got ice cream and pie. I don't really care about the pie. They got fried chicken, they got burgers, happy meals, promotion, okay. So promo got corn pie, pineapple corn pie. So pretty much different, but they said the chicken nuggets are different. I don't know what an MK is, but can I get sides? 
So that's pretty much what you can order. So I'm gonna get some uh, sauces and I'll tell you how good it is. All right guys, so the total came out to 310 baht, which is about maybe eight to nine dollars total. So I got chicken strips, I got strawberry sundae, which I don't even know when I picked those. Um, I got six piece nuggets, barbecue nugget sauce, Coke Zero, a thing called patango, which is beef inside, and four cheese sticks. And so I spent about nine dollars and two cents for literally six items, which is insane. So let's see if these are actually really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I finally got my food. There's a lot, okay? As you guys can see, I got chicken nuggets. I got everything. I got even. They gave me ice cream. They gave me two different sauces: barbecue sauce and sweet and sour. So we're gonna try everything. And this is a funny thing: their barbecue and their sweet and sour is totally different because it's actually very runny. So um, number one, we're gonna try the uh, strawberry no matter what because of the fact that it's melting and i'm not gonna lie there's there's something different about this ice cream wow the strawberry is so good wow fresh strawberries I really haven't had a strawberry one in so long. But I'll tell you right now, hands down, delicious. Oh my God. And then we got these weird fries. They have a little gap in them. So I'm gonna put it in the sweet and sour sauce. So if you guys see, look how the texture of the sweet and sour sauce is so watery and the barbecue sauce. Okay. Barbecue sauce, good, sweet and sour. The barbecue is a little spicy. It's like real potatoes. It's really good. Mm. Regular fries, delicious. Okay. So I don't know what this is, but this said something about a bun, okay? I asked him and it was beef, okay? So I'm a little interested, let's see. And uh, hopefully it's good. Okay, there is no beef. I like it. It's empty. It's like um, a dessert. It just tastes like like a warm croissant in a way. Yeah. Not too much like flavor. It tastes like a funnel cake. Yes. Without the funnel. There's, yes. That, that, like no sauce, no no powder, no. Nothing on it, like a straight funnel cake, just actual that. Oh, that was, I'm actually pretty surprised about that. I thought it was gonna be something interesting. Okay, so this is the big test. Okay, Jack in the Box in California, they let go of their mozzarella sticks. We don't have them there. This is kind of cool to finally get this. By the way, that ice cream is still good. Um, bismillah. All right, mozzarella sticks. Hands down, really good. Um, I think the flavor to the mozzarella sticks, look how small they are, um, that's what she said. And uh, really good. How's like a, a mixed garlic texture, but overall good. Okay, what I love about the, the, the Bangkok hands down, they take a while to make your food and it's all fresh, everything's warm. Mm. Fries, salty. <laughs> Sweet and sour, delicious. I mean, when I went to get ketchup, they have to, they call it American ketchup. They have two types of ketchup. So they have two different types of ketchup, which we'll definitely check out. Did you get the American ketchup? Black American. You notice how American ketchup over here it's very thick, but if you try any other ketchup anywhere else, it's actually a little bit more watery. And I actually like the watery one because it doesn't take so long to come out, come down into out of the bottle. Okay. The big test. I don't know why this is so big. This is only six pieces. Oh, okay, because I got chicken strips, I forgot. Okay, McNuggets, hands down, so far has been Indonesia. Okay, we're gonna do it without the sauce. I 
need I need another I need another taste. Okay. A reason why? These chicken nuggets are. I don't think they gave me fresh ones. It seems a little. I was expecting juicier, but I was hoping it'd be a little bit more delicious. But so far, hands down, Indonesia. Indonesia has one chicken nuggets 100%. Now the next thing, I'm actually pretty shocked. They got chicken strips. This better be good. I'm gonna try it with the barbecue sauce. So the barbecue sauce has like a little, uh, like an Asian spice to it. It's actually like a tangy barbecue sauce. Nothing too special, crunchy. They're just regular chicken strips. They're juicy, but I mean, oh, wow. I was expecting a wow. So far, their fries are a wow. Their fries are good. I think their fries are really good. Um, mozzarella sticks. Chicken nuggets, um, just not the punch I was looking for. Just not, but like I, I wanted the chicken nuggets to be a little bit more Nugget. flavorful and more like juicier. This one's hard. They don't crack. They're not. They're the crunch to it. They don't smack. But. The ice cream though, hell yeah, hands down. I was expecting more, but I'm happy. They passed the fry test, 100%. And mozzarella stick, they passed that test too. Um, I can never go wrong with mozzarella sticks. So, look at the cheese, wow. not the best McDonald's in Thailand right now unless I got like a bad McDonald's right now Indonesia wins as like the best McDonald's so far to me um, I think Indonesia has been the best McDonald's hands down mozzarella sticks mm -hmm. so, so far I had their burger it was fire a quarter pounder yeah it was good so far Overall experience, first day in Thailand. You guys saw where we walked, you saw my room. <clears throat> Tomorrow, there's gonna be more experiences. We got street food coming out. Maybe do a couple challenges. I hope you guys are ready. I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm getting myself into when it comes down to Thailand. Bangkok, I love you guys. Welcome to Thailand, and welcome to Wally's journey. And I hope you guys are ready. Remember, tomorrow is never promised. So enjoy your life and make sure to live life to the fullest because tomorrow is never promised. Wally's journey over and out. I'll see you on the next episode.